you need. Amen. 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 Turn with me if you've got your Bibles with you in the New Testament to the book of James, chapter 5. Ooh. Keep your finger there and I'll just recap very quickly. It's hard up here without a clock. We'll have to get that clock on the wall. <laughs> I don't know what time. Oh, it's half past. I'm not, not long. I'll probably do this sermon then in two parts and uh, see where we go. We began a couple of weeks ago on this series of Heroes of the Faith. If you remember, we began to look at the life of Moses. And we looked at how Moses, God chose Moses from birth. And how he chose him to be the, the um, man, the person that was going to set Israel free. Hmm. Uh, we went through a, f a few of that, but then I broke off that because it was Father's Day. Amen. And um, we, we looked at uh, as fathers, as heroes, because sometimes we get, as fathers and as men and as husbands, the devil wants to give us a bad report. Amen. The world uh, 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 come down on it because the devil's mad at fathers because they represent the, fa the family. Do you know the family represents <coughs> God? Yes. And us. And it's a holy thing, that's why God loves it so much. That's why he hates divorce, that's all those things. But the devil knows that. He says because the, the family represents the father's relationship to us and he hates it. And so he comes against it so much. And even so now, the, most of them out in the world say they don't need fathers. But, you know, they do. Amen. Anyway, we looked at the life of Moses and then we looked at the hero of uh, Jairus as a father hero, remember that? And we, we looked at, he, 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 was, uh, he had a daughter who was near to death with sickness, yeah. and yet he wasn't what we call a believer, Christian believer, it wasn't a, a thing then. But what happened was, um, <coughs> his daughter was close to death, she, she, she was dying, and he says that he went and saw after Jesus. You know, and I said, that's what homes miss today so much is, is men, fathers, that when there's trouble in the family, whether it's sickness or whatever, they should go seek, seek Jesus. Mm. Amen. See, because many times we let the wife do it or, you know, the employer go and do something for us. But Jairus, he went and he saw Jesus. Amen. He knew what, what to do. Amen. And as you know, he got his answer to prayer. The devil tried to distract him uh, with all the things Jesus, I mean, got the woman with the issue of blood that we heard about. She uh, encountered Jesus on his way to heal this little girl. And then the soothsayers came. Oh, I said, stop minding the, the rabbi now, the teacher, because your daughter's dead. It's a waste of time. You know, and that's the, that's the way the world tells us, isn't it? You've got no hope. You know, Denise, Denise's sister, Yvonne, Pastor Johnny's wife in Caddy's there. <coughs> Am I all right to say this? About Yvonne? Well, she was sick anyway. And she, you know, they, they give her a, a, a negative prognosis without even examining a really bad one. So much so as... The doctor, the doctor at the hospital said, send this to your own doctor. And he gave <coughs> the, the medical sheet. And as he walked out, he did this on the shoulder. Left her with no hope. Anyway, it turned out great. She didn't have what they said she had. Wow. And, uh, Thank you, know, you Jesus. She, she's recovering well. Thank you, Jesus. I, I, I would have told you the story, but I'm not sure if it, I should do. <laughs> anyway, so... So here, here was um, Jesus on his way to heal a little girl. She died, and yet Jairus, he stayed a strong in faith. Does anybody else want to move around today? 